when you make something into something else? Recycling to me means reusing materials. Um, it's like when you throw like a can inside and then like, then like a factory makes something, like another can ball or something else. Uh, recycling to me means reusing materials for the benefit of the planet. It means, um, to not make pollution. Because it's good for the earth. Then we don't have to make bigger landfills and it doesn't cost as much. So then garbage does not pile up and just take over more land. Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 Um, you put it in the recycling can and then someone uses it again. Yeah. What kinds of things do you recycle? Plastic glass and cans. Um, organics, paint, and paper. We are the RISE Student Board, a group of dedicated secondary students across the district who work on ways to improve recycling awareness and compliance in our school district. We've noticed that most Davis Junior High and High School students don't know how to sort their lunch waste, why it makes a difference, and where their recyclables and compostables go. That's why we decided to make this video. This is what a typical junior high or high school lunch period looks like. These students don't know much about sorting waste properly. Can you do a better job than they did? This school is really good. I know, right? It's way better than at my elementary school. Mm -hmm. That was so funny. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, thanks. Oh, really? Oh, my gosh. Oh, no, it's mine. So, guys, I'm done eating. I'll be right back. Okay, bye. 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 I wonder why they have all these different bins and everything. It's really annoying. It's all going to be in the trash anyway. So if you can picture your garbage can at home is completely full. Some of you got the lid propped up, overflowing. 75% of that should be making it into a recycling bin or into a composting bin, uh, which really leaves only about 25% that's true trash. Shame. Um, I'm gonna go. Um, yeah, me too. I want to hear more about the wedding. All right, cool. Fill me in on the details. Uh huh. That doesn't go in there. It's only one time. It's not gonna make a difference. Okay, everyone says that. If everyone said, okay, it's only one time, then our entire world would be like a mountain of trash. All right. It was pretty good. Sydney, I still can't believe you stole my pizza. That was my pizza, by the way. Just look at the pictures. I don't think anyone will notice. Well, there's food in here. No, those do not go in the compost. Please sort your food from the plastic containers which go into the rigid plastics cart.
Oh, maggots, huh? When food waste ends up in the rigid plastics or paper bins, maggots can develop. No one wants maggots, so please put your food in the organics bin. This student had a sack lunch in a brown paper bag. Stop! That does not all belong in the trash. Let's see if she can do it right this time. Notice how she quickly separates her lunch waste into piles for paper, CRV, organics, and finally trash. These piles can easily be placed into the correct bins. Taking the extra 5 to 10 seconds to do this every day reduces the amount of waste that goes to the landfill. Now, here's an important message from DJUSD Food Services. Okay, here at the school district, we serve over 700,000 meals to many different students and to many students here in the Sacramento Valley area. So we create really a lot of garbage by the packaging that we use to help serve the students, such as some of these that are all recyclable, and we all have such as these that we serve many of our students in. So the biggest thing you can do is help us and recycle. To recap, there are several things you should know about your school recycling station. First of all, any paper or cardboard with food or drink on it goes in the compost. Napkins, whether used or not, also belong in the compost, as do milk cartons from school lunches. Plastic cannot go in the compost, even if it has food in it. Food should be dumped into the compost before placing the plastic into the rigid plastics cart. Otherwise, maggots can develop. Soft plastic goes in the trash. Here's a quick word from our school custodians. And this bill needs a lot of work. Just take time. It's going to help you guys in the long run. Slow down. Not shape up. Schools are very similar to individual citizens. They have a certain number of bins that get picked up a certain number of times a week. If you can go to smaller bins, if you can go to fewer bins, if you can go to bins picked up less frequently, then your garbage bill goes down. And the school, as a result, saves money. And that frees up more funds for them to do all the other things that we enjoy schools to do. And all of that gets the compounded effects of the positive ramifications of encouraging recycling. Less energy, fewer materials wasted, and more sustainable in the future. Last year in California, people threw out 33.2 million tons of garbage. That is a lot of garbage going to our landfills. A third of that was organic waste. That is food waste, it's green waste from your when you mow your lawn or when you trim the shrubs. And when organic waste goes to landfills, it decomposes and generates greenhouse gas. An added bonus is that recycling pickup is free, whereas trash costs the school district money that could have been used for other purposes. Diverting recyclables and compostables from the landfill helps to prolong the life of our local landfill. This is Davis Waste Removal, the local facility where all our recyclables go. Here, paper, cardboard, rigid plastics, glass, bottles, cans, and other materials are processed. Recycling paper and cardboard to create new products greatly reduces the number of trees and other resources that would have otherwise been depleted. At school, where we produce a lot of paper waste, it is important to recycle as much as possible. Glass is transported to Sacramento where it's made into new products. The amount of energy and resources that it takes to produce, say for example, a soda can from metal that has to be harvested from the earth directly is significantly higher than the energy and materials required to make a soda can from a pre-existing one or from an old one. Here in Davis, we have it easy. You might notice that on the bottom of your plastic containers, there's sometimes a number. These numbers correspond to the type of plastic the material is composed of. According to Claire Rapp from DWR, some cities only accept certain numbers of plastic, but in Davis, all types of rigid plastic, whether or not they have a number, are accepted. This is a Yolo County Central landfill, the place where all garbage from local homes, schools, and businesses is dumped. Unfortunately, when people don't sort, recyclables and compostables end up here as well. This is just a fraction of the garbage brought here every single day to be buried. According to a recent interview with Marissa Jeweler from the Yolo County landfill, Davis brings in about 200 trucks of waste a week, only 70 of which contain recyclable materials. The other 130 trucks contain garbage. That's why it's so important to recycle and compost as much waste as possible. This is Northern Recycling, a composting facility in Zamora, California.
Yard waste and food waste are brought here and processed separately. Yard waste is placed into rows and is watered and turned, whereas food waste is placed into large piles and is aerated and covered with wood chips called overs. This helps prevent methane gas from escaping into the atmosphere. Afterwards, both are processed in a tumbler, which removes some contamination. However, some plastic and glass can't be removed. Keep in mind that this compost is used to grow crops like those you see over yonder. It's hard to believe, but this pile of junk is supposed to be compost. This is what farmers are growing your food in. Do you see all that plastic? None of that would be there if everyone sorted their waste properly. This is what compost looks like after treatment. You can see the little bits of plastic scattered throughout the finished product. Treatment at the facility does not remove plastic or glass from organic and green waste. That's your job. So I hope to have uh, more staff involved uh, directly in the recycling activities, um, whether that's campus supervisors or custodians or teachers, um, helping to build a culture where everybody believes that's important and the activities that need to be done, making sure uh, trash is sorted properly and uh, disposed of in the right place. Uh, there's the space and time available to do that. As you can see, recycling is a global effort that requires participation from everyone. If we all took the extra 10 seconds to sort out our lunch waste into the proper bins, we would be recycling and composting so much waste that would otherwise be sitting in the landfill for thousands, even millions of years. It's important that we all do our part to protect our planet because it's the only one we've got. Humans are only one of the approximately 8.7 million different species living on Earth. All of these species depend on us to keep their home clean and free of trash and pollution. According to Marissa Jeweler from the Yolo County Landfill, we only have until 2081 to use our local landfill. And CalRecycle found that 75% of our garbage can be recycled. So what are you waiting for? Help make the world a better place for now and for future generations. The world needs you! What is recycling? Okay. Why should we recycle? Interesting. All right. Do you think you know how to recycle? <laughs>